This is 1978 Lincoln Cent and circulated brown condition. Overall coin has sharply struck device elements with minimal wear on high points and no large contact marks on either sides. At very fine condition like this, circulated pennies of this issue are worth around 18 20 cents. The 1978 P. Lincoln Cent is very common as mint struck over 5 billion examples. Finding one in circulation should be very easy. Examples in MS65 are also abundant in uncirculated rolls at a small premium over 1 cent. In MS66 conditions, they become a little more challenging to find but are still easily available. In MS67 conditions, they are very hard to find and command a substantial premium. The most valuable specimen in Mint State 67 Plus faced the sum of $4,259.38 at 30 age auctions. The 1969 D nickel was minted at the Denver Mint in Colorado and is composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel. The mintage of 1969 D nickel was $128,345,000, which is considered to be high mintage for nickel. In terms of rarity, 1969 D nickel is not considered to be rare or valuable coin. However, if a 1969 D nickel is in mint condition and has not been circulated, it could be worth more than its face value to a collector. This one I'm holding is just circulated specimen worth face value, but uncirculated examples with full steps are extremely rare. To date, PCG has certified just one 1969 D example with full steps designation. The 1969D Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition, which was sold for $33,600 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 2010D Buckingham dollar coin. Presidential dollar coin is part of presidential. $1 coin program initiated by United States Mint. This program aid to honor the presidents of United States by featuring their image on circulating dollar coins. Regarding its value, the 2010D Buchanan dollar is not considered to be particularly valuable. In general, most presidential dollar coins including the 2010D Buchanan coin are worth the face value of $1 if found in circulation or spent as regular currency. However, if you have an uncirculated or proof version of the 2000D Buchanan dollar coin, it may carry a small premium above its face value. The coin I'm holding is 1984S Washington Quarter. Proof coin with deep cameo feature displaying mirror-like surfaces that contrast with frosted devices. Fields display some blemishes, so no wonder it will have an average proof condition if graded. The 1984S proof Washington Quarter is considered common for the series. Examples can easily be obtained up to a PR69 deep cameo condition. In perfect PR70 deep cameo conditions, they are much scarcer, but lots of examples exist, making them very affordable for most serious collectors. PR70 specimens with deep cameo are worth over $50 as for PCGS price guide. The 1973 uncirculated Kennedy of dollar has the lowest mintage from the 1965 to 1976 for the circulation strike issues. According to PCGS, the 1973 half dollar came well struck, and finding examples up to about MS65 condition is very easy. MS66 examples become much more difficult, with enough searching one can be found in uncirculated rolls or mint sets. Examples in MS67 condition are very hard to find and it is probably much easier to buy one that has already been graded. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. PCG has registered only one example of 1973 half dollar so far in Mint State 68 minted in Denver, which is worth today at least $11,000. This coin is displaying very vibrant nickel gray luster, particularly on reverse. I'm convinced that the first thing that will catch your eyes will be this radial haziness around the Kennedy's bust, which is actually a result of defective self-sealing card box holder. Windows were too tightly pressed against the coin while I removed it from there. So left strong trace here. 
Oversight exhibits bold strike. Fields are clean. Here is 1980s with Lincoln sent in red condition, sharply detailed radiating peach orange luster with slight cartwheel effect. Eye appeal is only affected by one large carbon freckle and tiny explosions that are scattered around the surfaces of obverse. Lincoln's head displays crisp strike definition. Obverse side is almost void of mentionable contact marks. Strike of reliefs is sharp on the reverse as well. Nowhere is seen on high points, just slight die softness on memorial steps. In 1983, business strike pennies were struck on copper-plated zinc planchets, so they have less copper melt value as compared to previous issues. They get high value only after MS67 with guiding price of over $70. In mid 68, they are worth over $500. This is 2007 D. Lincoln Sent in uncirculated superb gem condition. Vibrant orange surfaces displaying potent luster provide this piece with outstanding eye appeal and with obvious cartwheel effect. No overt carbon spotting or distracting contact marks are seen on either side of this magnificent one cent coin. Letterings and device elements are crisply struck and nicely preserved. In mean state, 66 uncirculated pennies struck in Philadelphia are worth over $15 according to PCGS price guide. They become highly elusive and valuable in mean state 68 with guiding price of over $1,000. This is 2016 D quarter with North Dakota Theodore Roosevelt reverse. Coin is likely in AU58 condition, showing vibrant nickel gray luster. The 2016 D Theodore Roosevelt quarter is a coin issued as a part of America's Beautiful Quarters program by the United States Mint. The program features quarters with unique reverse designs representing different national parks or other sites across the country. As for its value, the 2016 D. Theodore Roosevelt quarter in uncirculated condition may have some value to collectors, but its worth is typically not significantly higher than its face value of 25 cents. Uncirculated coins are those that have not been used in everyday transactions and remain in their original condition. They often have a higher level of detail and luster compared to circulated coins. Here is about uncirculated 1968 Lincoln scent. This particular specimen is at brown condition with some pale golden luster. Fields exhibit numerous explosions of carbon spots of tiny proportions. Lincoln's head is sharp with several ticks of contact on focal areas. Main distraction is just doubling on the western rims. In terms of mintage, the 1968 Lincoln scent had a large production run, the Philadelphia Mint, denoted by the absence of meat marks, struck over 2.9 billion coins, while the Denver Mint, represented by D Mint Mark, produced over 3.2 billion coins. As much, these coins are quite common and can be found in circulation or coin collections relatively easily. Regarding its values, the 1968 Lincoln cent is generally not considered to be valuable in circulated condition. As a common coin with high mintage, it typically only holds its face value of one cent. However, if you have a coin in uncirculated condition or with rare variations or error, it could have some numismatic value. Here is briefly circulated 1989 P. Roosevelt dime from Koina's collection. This one is also in extremely fine condition, featuring strong traces of mint luster and a needle sharp strike. At first impression, main distraction on a verse is this pretty eye catching post mint scratch behind the neck of the president. Focal areas are almost void of mentionable contact marks. Reverse side displays vibrant reflectivity, strike is bold, yet we don't see enhanced motifs on the torch. Full bands is not achieved on the torch as you can see. The 1989 Roosevelt times are very common as means struck over 2 billion for circulation. 
Anything grading higher than MS67 full bands is considered very scarce. In MS68 condition was full bands designation. They command strong premiums. For instance, this superb gem in mentioned grade ended up selling for $2,925 with buyer's fee at Great Collections auction. Here is 2001 Washington Quarter with North Carolina reverse. It is in circulated extremely fine condition displaying sharply detailed reliefs and lightly abraded fields. Several small goads are evident on the obverse side of this quarter. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCJS, most collectors should have no trouble finding a 2001 P North Carolina quarter, as the US Mint struck over 627 million examples for circulation. The typical example from circulation will have some noticeable wear, but still be in uncirculated grades, with most examples still having luster. Only in MS69 grade or higher are they difficult to find. It means state 69 they are worth over $2,500 according to PCJS price guide. Moving on with this proof 1964 Jefferson nickel from Koina's collection, metal composition is same as on regular nickels, 75% copper, 25% nickel. Only difference is that production process is more defined, intricate and shinier. Coin is bursting with luster, strike is needle sharp, just pay attention to those enhanced details on Jefferson bust. Fields are shining like a mirror, yet no deep contrast is evident between fields and the device to get cameo or deep cameo designation. Ordinary proof coins at grades like PR69 or 70 are worth between $30 to $600. Examples can easily be found in PR68 grades and lower without much effort, even in PR69 condition, they are abundant with thousands of examples available. Only in PR69 deep cameo condition does it really become somewhat scarce. Thanks for watching this video. Before moving on with another video, make us happy by hitting like and subscribe buttons below. Have a nice day.